What is up everybody, it's Dr. GTA coming to you with another little update and today we're going to be going over the Steam version of GTA 5 on PC and we're going to be showing you guys that are not going to be able to download the update later. You're not going to be home and you're not going to, you don't want to be getting home late and having to download the update. We're going to show you actually how to actually download the update while you're gone if you leave your Steam open. So this is what you're going to do. Watch closely. You're going to go to your Steam library. You're going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5. You're going to right click. You're going to go to Manage Downloads on it if you have the Steam version. And if you don't, you can always add a game right here and add the non-Steam game and it should show up the decrypted files. After that, you're going to click right here. It's not going to say high priority, but it's going to say something like... Um, it's going to say always updated enabled and when you click it, it's going to bring this menu up then you're going to click this automatic update and change it to high priority then you're going to change this to always allowed down background downloads and you're going to click close and that's pretty much all you got to do so whenever the actual patch uh, comes out it's going to update it by itself and that's pretty much it once you get that downloaded also your local files if you go to your local files you can um, verify your integrity of your game cache whenever um, you have a, a default a corrupted file if you're modding so if you want to fix your file you it'll just find the file that's fix, uh, messed up and it'll fix it by clicking that button one time you don't have to do anything else um, the other thing too is if you want to browse your local files you can go here and it'll bring up an explorer window um, I think it will or something like that that's pretty much it you can delete your content you can back up your game files um, you cannot back it up until it's finished uh, updating. Once it's updated, I would recommend you back up your game files to some DVDs or if you have the room, put them on another additional drive if you can. Um, that's pretty much it. Another thing people are having problem with is say you only have less than 60 gigs left after you have preloaded your game on there. So if what you want to do is actually take your preloaded files and you want to move them over to a different disk, but keep the path the same using this thing called um, mover disk mover or something steam mover yes yeah, steam mover and once you do that you'll get your your disk space back on your local disk and when the game updates it'll decrypt the files from the local disk d and put them on your primary local disk c so you keep it regulated with 60 gigs decrypted and 60 gigs decrypted over here or whatever so you actually need 120 to decrypt the game but that's pretty much it um, thanks for watching this. If this helped you, make sure to leave a like. See you guys in the next video. Peace.